morning, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, it is Wednesday. It's actually a little bit later. It's like almost, it's actually like noon. Um, so we're actually going to go out for a bit. Um, so I'm actually going to have to get myself dressed for the day and I'll see you guys soon. Uh, so you guys, it'll be the next clip. So I'll see you guys soon. So I just finished actually eating my, I want to say breakfast? Like a few minutes ago. Um, so I just had that. I'm actually just drinking my tea. Um, I'm actually using my Ariel cup I got for Christmas a few years ago. I got some pumpkin spice tea in there. Um, and, um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing right now. That's kind of relaxing. Sorry, I had a... Itchy either. For some reason. Um, so yeah, that is what I've been doing. Just relaxing, drinking tea. Um, and then I'm going to get myself ready for the day. Um, it's actually not a... It's a very kind of rainy day here today. Not very pleasant. We just finished the long weekend here in Canada. Um, so yeah, that's what we just did. Um, so yeah. Fireworks are going off all weekend. It was crazy. Um, so yeah. So all like the people who are yeah all crazy and wow it's all boarded up that's where they used to go crazy can we it? walk around there that's so cool it's massive yeah. a lot of graffiti Wow. Look at the back stairwell. Oh wow, that's <laughs> bumpy. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder if we can walk around there. And kind of get a better like. And some of these old, old service buildings and stuff. All from the same time period, or probably not. These are probably a little bit newer. Some of these. Just the size of it. Yeah, I want to say maybe late 1800s. This is cool. You don't get to see a lot of history, do you? Oh, and it's raining. A little bit. The original Psycho Ward. <laughs> Crap, this is massive. The most exciting thing in my vlog today is this. You probably do some search on it and you'll probably be able to find information about it. Find out what year it was born. Look at the, the foundation is built of old field stone. That gives you an idea how old the building is. Yeah, so I would say maybe late 1800s. Yeah. You can't even get this all in camera because it's so tall. This is gorgeous. But cool. Not like. <laughs> Up the stairs. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think I want to go up the. Oh, I'm actually being serious. 
This is really like unique. This, I've never seen like an old hospital like this here. Oh. Graffiti. Can you see in there? No. I wonder if there's a window. Oh, we can't see in there's a window, can we? All access to this site is strictly prohibited, it says. Well, yeah, you're technically. Yeah. But walking around here is not a thing. My stairs. And I almost, <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> I didn't realize how steep that was. Mm hmm. Kind of sucks you can't see through the windows though. They're all boarded up. Well, the sun is trying to come out today. Access to this site is strictly restricted, or is restricted to individuals and parties undertaking businesses and business with the province of Ontario ministry agencies and tenants. All other access to the site is strictly prohibited. Oh, there's like a little secret walkway? Oh, I, yeah, no. I, don't, I almost fell today. I'm not falling again. A lot of overgrown plants. A lot of graffiti, though. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um. <laughs> I think they put the boards on the windows because they're trying to keep the glass from getting broken. Who knows? Any other historical sites around in this area? No. Oh, it's all wet. Anything interesting in there? No, it's just a pipe that goes down and into the basement, obviously to the furnace room. But somebody's tried to rip all the cladding off, figuring it would maybe went somewhere. Wow, this is... I wouldn't trust the stairwell at all. Looks like all the locks have been broken off that door. Oh, the, oh no. I, I'm i not going up this. Oh, it's been welded shut. Wow, you can definitely tell the age of the building just... All the locks have been smashed. Someone's been trying to break in, so they've actually welded the door shut to keep people from breaking in. Probably homeless people, probably. Yeah, it's just transients trying to break in. Oh, wet back here. Ah! Getting attacked by plants. And that was, that's kind of cool. And that was actually really cool. I've never, that's actually the first time I've ever seen like an old hospital like that up in, close in person. Yeah, we, we don't really have anything like that where we are, are we, in our area. I don't know what these buildings are. These are all boarded up to. Oh, there's somebody over there walking a dog. Oh. Down there just, there's a dog running around loose down there. This is an old baseball diamond. This. Oh, wow. What a historic over here. Like, that is the size of the building. Like, that is massive. So this is where they used to play baseball? Yeah, the back drop over the thing over the backstop is over here for the fence. That's up. First baseline, second baseline. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. Looks like it's
Another old building. Oh, someone comment. Oh, a wee word. What? <laughs> someone <laughs> Anything in the window? Hello. <laughs> Listen. Hello. Wait, I wonder what would happen if I turn my flat my camera light on. <laughs> yeah, if you had a flash on it, probably, you probably couldn't see what's in there. Broken piece of plywood. Okay, let's want to try to walk around the front of the building. Front of what building? They're in front of this building or no? Want to kind of continue walking down here for a few minutes? Everything's boarded up. All old building. Sun showers, the sun shining and it's still raining, and more graffiti. Oh, yeah. There's graffiti any, everywhere. Wherever the kids can go and tag something. Oh, look at old, how old this building is. Yeah. I kind of wonder if this maybe was another part of the hospital, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, this is some sort of old maintenance buildings of some sort. Service building for the original hospital. Some of this brickwork looks pretty old. Some of the original windows have been bricked in. You can see that square there. That's where there was a window and it's been bricked in. Well, you can look over here too, like it's all broken. Yeah. What does the other side of this building look like? Same as this side. It's the other side. <laughs> I want to walk down that path over here. We can. I just don't want to get in trouble because I don't even know if we're supposed to be back here. I don't think walking down here is really bad. Yeah, no, I'm not going through that. Hell no. Yeah, it's all grass. Oh. We won't walk on the grass. Out there. I don't want to get ticked. And I'm like in a skirt and I, yeah, they can just crawl right up me. Crawl up my legs. You don't want to hoochie tick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is probably the old entrance. In for next place, there's a sign. Like, really cool. Even though I almost died <laughs> going down the stairs, I almost fell. I fell. On the stairs. Yeah, that's a really cool piece of history. When was it built? 1876. 1876. Is there a name for the hospital? Hamilton Psychiatric Hospital. The Hamilton Asylum for the Insane, also called the Ontario Hospital, and later the Hamilton Psychiatric Hospital, was initially intended to be an asylum for it. In a Brits or whatever that in in Brits. Uh, however, this was more need more need for beds for the mentally disturbed, and this became the its sole concern. The Hamilton Asylum for the Insane began operation in 1876 on 529 acres of land with 202 patients. The next closest asylums were in Toronto and London. The first structure, the Barton Building, opened in 1876. This is Dr. R. Buck, initially oh, internationally known for his humane treatment of the mentally ill. First medical superintendent in the hospital grew quickly to meet the expanding needs of the, the province. Let's have a little bit of history on there, on the... Old psychiatric ward that was here. 
So I'm assuming this was obviously the first building, I'm assuming. Yeah, this building here. Go ahead and start the car turning here. Sure in here. Yeah, it's quite hot in here. Ugh. Yeah, I can definitely tell that, it, yeah, I, cause I said late 1800s and it was 1876. I can tell even by the brickwork here that is like some of the brickwork is starting to fade. Wait, so there's actually people buried in this area where we were at. Morgue and pathology. So there's Does it say how many people were buried here? No. A lot of interesting history here. clean myself hey guys so it is a few hours later um i actually had my class had my dinner and had a shower so i'm all cleaned um so yeah i'm just kind of relaxing i did a couple tiktok videos um so yeah i got those in my drafts right now waiting to be posted um so yeah that's what i was doing for the evening um and I had a pretty good day. It was actually really exciting. I, I was actually really interested in actually seeing that old hospital. I thought that was really kind of cool. Because that's like some I, I don't think I've ever actually seen in my life. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I'm not going to turn off the TV. My TV right now is still on because I might actually do another song. But I don't want to get copyrighted for uh, music rights. But yeah, so... Yeah, that was my day. Don't mind the TV, it is on. So, <laughs> so I got that um, going on. Probably gonna film another video or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I had a really good day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video.